right finally in this lecture we are entering into the instruments that is the first one we are going to discuss about PMMC so I'm going to present you all the important points here that means the how we are going to produce deflection torque that means for an instrument you need deflection and control and or damping so these are very important how we are proceeding to produce them in each instrument so in case of PMMC we are going to produce deflection torque using magnetic effect method okay like how you are going to produce you just read any material or textbook so I'm going to present you the important points here then coming to the controlling torque we are going to use a spring mechanism spring controlling mechanism then coming to the damping we are going to use eddy current damping here right so if you see the what uh, deflection torque production by using Lorentz force equation we have f equals to bil sin theta right where here that l is length of conduct not coil okay because a coil can have conductors but here a length L is length of conductor you need to remember that then theta is angle between B that is flux density and the current passing through the conductor so here theta equals to 90 degree always we are maintaining that so then what happens sine theta is going to become one okay then if you apply that to the torque here TD deflection torque is per coil is becoming B I L D into N okay um, so finally you will get td is equals to b i n k okay what is a there that is area which will be given by length l into d okay what is the d there what can be the d when area equals to length into d huh? so the area is effective area of the moving coil that means where l will be length of the moving coil and d is width of the moving coil okay so in general in exams you will be given with the area effective area a so if you observe this td equations it is directly proportional to the current passing through the instrument through the coil okay then the equivalent circuit of a PMMC instrument looks like this that is an ammeter PMMC in series with resistance some RM this is also important okay so the maximum allowable current through PMMC is about 50 milliamps and to identify force direction you need to use Fleming's left hand rule you all know that so for identifying the direction of EMF you need to use Fleming's right hand rule for force you need to use Fleming's left hand rule okay here in case of PMMC springs are also carrying current so okay now next we have some resistors or multipliers known as RSC and RSH and they are combinedly called multipliers they are made up of manganin and constantum because constantum is more brittle and more cost we are going to prefer only manganin MN okay to make those resistors this is one important point and then coming to the temperature coefficients all metals are having positive temperature coefficient 
whereas semiconductors and all insulators and resistance temperature devices or RTDs are having negative temperature coefficient okay then platinum and iridium which are having zero resistance are having zero temperature coefficient similarly manganese and constantin are having constant temperature coefficient but practically we use manganese plus copper made resistance which is known as swamping resistor for making those resistors that is multipliers okay right then in the next class we will discuss about mi instrument thank you